Now I have to rant. Because I was like, ready to buy a cow today. Whoa. Hello. I have to rant a little bit. I know I have no makeup on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I almost bought a cow today. Well, I kind of wanted to because we went to Santa High Jerk GS. Oh, my, my shirt. Okay, so we went to San Antonio and it was amazing. It's a beautiful city and I love it. And we go to the Texas Space Needle, right? And if you've ever been to the Space Needle in Seattle, you know, it's like amazing, but we went under construction, but still it's really cool. And I didn't know that it kind of has a twin in Texas because they were both built for world affairs. Anyways, so we go there and we order this like fancy schmancy like food, but the ingredients are so bad at the chart house, like at the top of the, the needle and you're spinning around and you're getting the great views. It's great, but the filet mignon was made of meat glue. <sighs> Can people please stop serving us meat glue? It is so gross. I mean, it's not like technically made of meat glue, but it is literally like pieces of filet put together with meat glue. It's not a real filet mignon. They should have to disclose it. Like it's so frustrating to me. And then I got this huge tummy ache and I was like not feeling the vibe, like I wasn't feeling good. I was just like, and then it just like, I'm a mindful eater. Like I like to go to a restaurant and I like to mindfully eat. I like to smell the food. I like to think about the texture. I like to love my food, like love it, like love, 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 love it. Like think about all the little parts of it and really devour it consciously, right? <laughs> anyway, so I was just so unimpressed. It was unremarkable. It was blah. I was just like, dang. But I didn't like say it there because I don't want to be negative. But you know, I'm just so disappointed in the quality and why can America, can we please stop using meat glue? Stop using meat glue. That's gross. U USA, the USA, their meat glue problem. They have a serious meat glue problem. Don't act like you don't. If you work in the food industry and you think you don't have a meat glue problem, you have a meat glue problem. And I was like, this is so, everything's fake. This is all processed and au jus, au jus should be like bloody and have animal fat in it. And it should be like really good, right? No, this was literally like some beef broth out of a can, okay? This was not au jus. This was, oh, I shouldn't say that. I was like, <laughs> I was gonna say Auschwitz. Why would I say that? <laughs> because it's a horrible hell? I don't know. Anyway, I was just like thinking in my head about this being terrible. Um, anyway, I can't read the comments for this far away. And then, like, the mashed potatoes. So, if you're gonna do chunky mashed potatoes, which they did it, they were creamy, but you can tell that they weren't, like, fresh made because they had, like, anyway, they didn't have an aroma and they were smooth, but they also, if they're really smooth potatoes, they wouldn't have skins in them. So, it's like they added skins into, like, already made smooth potatoes or something. Super weird. The, the mushrooms were actually really good, except they were lacking flavor. Like they had no flavor. Like, could you at least put some butter on them? I need some butter. I need some butter. I need butter. I need fat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I need it to be tasty and smell. Like I need to smell the food. And I'm just like, thinking about this the whole drive home, I'm thinking about this meal and I'm just like processing it and then I'm digesting it and I'm just like very uncomfortable, okay? And then their cocktail is their signature cocktail. It's supposed to have flavor and be like amazing. I was like, yeah, but it was soft, okay? It was like a limp, you know what I mean? It was not good, <laughs> it was not good. It was soft, had barely any flavor, too much ice, it's kind of watered 
watered down. And even their tomatoes, like you can tell when a tomato is a GMO crappy tomato. It was a crappy tomato. That was a very sad tomato. I mean, at the most it just had fiber. It tasted like water. It had too much yellow in it. A good tomato is like red and it has real flavor and it has real nutrition and real food. It's not fake food. It has real flavor and a, and a smell. It has good smell and it like it nourishes the body. And this had none of that. None of that at all. And so I just wanted to rant because I was I'm fed up with the food industry and people like they'll make it look really pretty. Like, yeah, it looks pretty, but it's an illusion. It's a simulation. It's a placebo effect. It's like a magic trick because there's no real nutrition and there's no real value in the food and it doesn't actually taste very good. And it's like plain and boring. And it just makes me rant, okay? Because I'm just, I'm insulted. I'm insulted. My intelligence is insulted! Do I look like an idiot? Okay, don't answer that. Anyways, but it's like they think you're just some stupid person. You can just have smoke and mirrors and you're just gonna think, oh, this is fabulous. No, it's not fabulous. It's meat glue and processed fake food and I don't want it and I want my own cow and I want my own farm and I want my own food because I don't trust any food now. I have PTSD from this. I don't trust food at all, and I don't trust the food industry, and I'm coming for you, and I'm coming to buy the cows, and I'm gonna get some land, but apparently I'll have to take baby steps because, you know, I'll probably forget about this tomorrow. I'm just ranting. I just need to take some steam off my chest because this is how I feel. I feel really offended by bad food. Are any of you guys offended by bad food? <laughs> For agreeing with me Javier you know like food is supposed to nourish the body it's supposed to make you feel good it's supposed to smell good it's supposed to taste good flavors are supposed to be good and the lettuce was just like that really weird cafeteria lettuce that is just like shredded up and even for the cheeseburger there wasn't even a slice of cheese they put like shredded cheese on it why do you put shredded cheese on a cheeseburger? That's just plagiarism. That's cheese plagiarism. And it's obvious and it's a fake cheese. It's fake. It's a knockoff. It's copying cheese, but it's not really the cheese. It's not the original cheese. <laughs> Anyways, I was just really offended. And I wrote a terrible review about it because I was so offended. But I just don't understand why people have to use meat glue. Maybe there's a cow shortage, but on the drive home, I saw plenty of cows and I would have gone and tried to steal a cow, but you know, I probably would have got shot because I'm in Texas. So, you know, there's that. But we also saw on the way home, this guy riding his motorcycle, no helmet, like 90 miles an hour. And he, he was super manning, so he was like, his legs were all the way out, and, and, and he had no shoes on, he had no gloves on, he had no helmet, and he's super manning, going 90 miles an hour, and I'm just thinking, does that guy really gotta take a dump? Or is he like trying to, like, he's like, ah, I gotta go, or is he like, <laughs> or is he like, just, like, is he having a baby? Like, is he trying, is he like, not right like i don't know i don't know but it was really interesting and it was a really fun trip and the river walk was beautiful but the hotel is like it was supposed to be like a nice hotel but i was so, bleh, bleh, like ugh. i was i wrote them a bad review too because their bathroom is like how hard is it to clean a bathroom that people are going to be using was so gross I didn't even want to use the restroom but that was in like the lobby the actual rooms were pretty nice and then they had this light up parade it was like a boat parade and it goes along the river and they played music and that was lovely because they did have a balcony it was over the river and you can walk along the river and you can get like margaritas or whatever to go and they have ice cream shops and really really good food but they also have really bad food 
and we got to see the Alamo, which I've never really seen, obviously, and it was smaller than I thought it would be, but it was still really cool. I like the history, and I was just really di disappointed in the Towers of America and their food, but I mean, it was still nice. It was a good view. It was awesome, but um, can we just please stop using meat glue? Okay, can we just stop? I would love it if someone would cook for me because, like, I don't really like cooking, but I think it's because I don't like the, like, ingredients. I don't know. I just want, like, I've just been, like, craving really good food, like, that makes you feel good, that's, like, tastes good, that smells good, that makes you feel alive and not just, like, this bland, bland, bland. Like, I just really want good food in my life. I need good food in my life. Jamaican food. I would love to have some Jamaican food. I'd love to try some Haitian food. Just wearing my dress. See, like, the best steak I ever had was from someone who had bought the cow and butchered it. So, and they, like, knew it was organic. Thank you for the... Pop tart or whatever that was, a little gold thing. Anyway, um, and it was so good. And after I ate a steak like that, I was like, I don't even want any other steak. Like, I want a, I want a cow. I will honor my cow. Sorry if you're in India. Um, and I will love this cow. But I want to like to eat the cow, like good cow. Like I want good food. Why is the food so bad? Like here in the stores. Ugh. Like, and it was so good. It was the best. It was like, I felt good. Like, I could feel myself getting iron into my blood. Like, I was like, yes, the bloodiness. Like, this is a real animal that I'm actually eating. And not like, 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 did you know that those chicken breasts, the chicken breast, I'm not pregnant now, but thank you or no thank you. I don't know. Anyway, the chicken breasts, when I was a kid, they didn't bubble out white stuff when you cook them. Now, when you buy a chicken breast, you go and cook it, it starts bubbling out white stuff. What is that white stuff? Why is it bubbling white stuff? It didn't do that before. What are they doing to the chickens? Can somebody please tell me? I just want my own chickens and my own cows so I know exactly where they came from. I know what I'm eating. Hi. You raise your own food, can I come live with you? I want to raise my own food. Well, I want someone that I know and trust to raise my food, give me my food, so I can eat my food, I feel good, and it's good nutritional food. I'm just having a moment. Great, wonderful. I look like I should be milking cows kind of right now. I feel like this dress gives me that vibe. I don't know. <laughs> Hi Kyle, sorry. Yeah, I'm not in my last girl costume. I pretty much I could I used my last girl costume for like four or five TikToks and it it ripped. I'm too big for it. You know, so it just I also got all these wonderful clothes. Thank you for the glowing compliment. I do have a Twitter. I have seen Ratatouille. I love that movie. I want. I would rather have that rat cook for me than eat the food that I ate today. Anyways. <laughs> okay, Angel. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because I'm constantly having people tell me the opposite. Um, but yeah, so I lost my train of thought. So I'm thinking about Ratatouille. And the blue cheese, it wasn't like really good blue cheese like the best blue cheese is i think it's stilton heads or something it's from england oh it's so good but there is a really good competitor out in california maybe i don't know the blue i love blue cheese like the stinkier the better i love it i love blue cheese and it was kind of okay because i had the beet salad but it was just like missing like it was just like ugh. i was so disappointed i'm so disappointed in restaurants these days can we please get good food, America? Can we please get good food? Somebody feed me good food. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. 
I'm right. Thank you. I love stinky cheese. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to sit on my counter. I'm going to get on my counter. Oh. <sighs> okay. I did it. I sat on my counter. <laughs> I do talk a lot. I'm on a rant right now. Didn't you kind of notice? I'm kind of ranting. Getting all my angstiness out about the food industry. How crappy it is. I just, I need to find like good food. I feel like my body has been needing it. Like my body needs it so bad. Like I need it. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you. Thank you. That is so much. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> okay, that's a little weird. Thank you, El Santo. Oh my gosh, I learned so much about the text masks. <laughs> culture too in San Antonio and I learned about the difference of I guess there's just like different kind of populations which was really beautiful and the culture was so beautiful and like it was bright it was vibrant and I I'm pretty obsessed with San Antonio I want to go back I loved it except I was so disappointed in the food but I, you know what, it's honestly, like, I don't even know if you can get, like, where can you get good food? Thank you for the roses. You, there's a one really good place in Houston that I really liked. I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> but it's at the Houstonian Hotel and Spa. Tribute. Tribute. They use good ingredients. They make good food. It is delicious. If you go on my clapper... I have a Clapper account. If anybody knows what Clapper is, it's like the new American TikTok. Um, because TikTok's been like banning everyone and everything and going on this rampage and deleting accounts and like nuts, their AI is crazy. Anyway, so <laughs> the Clapper account, they, they lit, oh, the soup was so good. And I got to mindfully eat it. I got to like, it's just smell it. And like the textures, the flavors. It was like love at first bite. It was so good. I have to go back there and get that soup. But anyway. Truth, worst thing you've said to someone? Gee. To a walkway? What's the worst thing I've said? What is the worst? Maybe this horrible food review. I mean, that's pretty bad. What's the worst thing I've said to someone? I'm pretty sure when I was a teenager, I told my parents I hated them, which is probably what all teenagers do. I hope. At least I'm, I don't know. Maybe I was just a terrible teenager. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't. Thank you for the yellow compliment. I have, like, no makeup on. So, I also, I went, and this hotel had a rooftop pool and a rooftop spa. And so, I go and... I'm trying to go in the spa and it gave me a rash like and, and there was a big cockroach and I screamed and then my son had to kill it so I was like ah! and I was like it's a cockroach and I was like mortified because I don't like big bugs and I was terrified so um that was also really gross I don't know if that's just like normal for the river walk if like cockroaches just like the river walk <laughs> They're like having a party and hanging out at the river one. But it was on the top of the roof, so I don't know why they were there, but <laughs> they were not welcome, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. But, and then I got the freaking, like, uh, some, something with my, like, I got all, like, red and, like, an allergic reaction from the spa or something. Like, maybe there was too much chlorine in the water. I don't know. If, like, people are over-chlorinating because of COVID, is that a thing? I don't know, Ben. Is that a thing? I don't know. I love soul food. I love food. But I like good food, and I like to, like, dissect, like, food and, like, really eat mindfully and, like, enjoy my food. So, I don't like to rush when I eat. But anyway, I can stop now. <laughs> Do a walkway. Do five spins? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spin, and then I'm gonna get ready because I actually have to go back to work tomorrow. So my fun is over. I can't even do a push-up. I'm super weak.
Anyways, I love you guys. My last row costume is broken. So my butt's too big. And I just got all these clothes from this awesome company. And I was so embarrassed because I could not get my butt into them. <laughs> oh my God. So, hey, Michael. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've had to talk to you on a live. Hello, Michael. It is so, I love your positive comments. Thank you so much. They are greatly appreciated. I love them. I know, I know. I don't, I have to go though. I have to go. I have to go and um, like get ready for my week. But yeah, I got like this weird rash from the spa, but the food, stop using meat glue. Just tell them, stop using meat glue. If you go somewhere, don't eat the meat glue. <laughs> I'm sorry I have to leave Almighty Warrior. I'm sorry. I love you guys. And um, happy Labor Day. <laughs> oh my.